in this video we are going to be looking at the text overflow property in CSS3. Now in my last video we looked at the what did we look at? We looked at the word wrap property uh, in CSS3 where you have this long word which is longer than the width of your box it contains and you use the word wrap break word so that all the words or the long word breaks itself and it fits inside the box. However the only downside to that is that the box itself goes longer because the word is going to go into a second line so the length or the height of the box gets longer and longer if you have a long word. So what if you want, don't want to do that and you already have a set height and width of the box and you don't want to change it? Uh, then you can use the CSS property overflow hidden which basically just hides the uh, overflow word or the word longer than the width like so but this doesn't really look nice and uh, it looks I don't know I personally think it looks ugly because we have after this H we have this like part of the I think it's a V that's showing and the uh, the website will look really incomplete or not cool if you have these stuff in your website like a part of a V so what we could do is instead of doing like this we could have that uh, dot 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 thing at the end of a word that is too long and we could uh, automatically uh, enter that by using a text overflow property like so the text overflow property has uh, two values we have the ellipsis which changes from this uh, default just cuts the uh, letter when it reaches the end of the border to this dot 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 so it actually looks better we can see that uh, the word actually hit itself if you don't have this you can see that it's like part of a sentence that actually hit itself and that is the text overflow ellipsis 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 yep and you also have this clip which is like the default property which just uh, just clips it just breaks the letter just cuts the letter and you see this half V. So uh, you can use the ellipsis to make your uh, box look slightly neater by using by having uh, this dot 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 uh, dot 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 uh, inserted when you have a word that is too long. So uh, that was a quick video on text overflow properties in CSS3. Uh, that's about it. Uh, yeah, there's nothing else I need to talk about just for this. It's only either clip or ellipsis and clip is just a default and ellipsis is uh, instead of just like the letter being cut halfway, it's going to insert this dot dot dot, which basically means uh, the sentence continue or the word is continuing and so on and if you have like read more you can actually click on it and that's going to expand or something if you have like an article website so yeah that's it thanks for watching and i'll see you guys later